Here are three ways that you can stick to your New Year's resolution. We've all been told, have an accountability partner. Make your big goals into smaller ones. Take baby steps. We've all been told all these different things. And you know what? They work for a lot of people. They worked for me in the past as well. But I want to share with you three different things that worked exceptionally well for me last year. And if you're someone, you know, that you set New Year's resolutions and for whatever reason you've fallen off track and you, know, you, you just can't stick to it, then these three things that I'm about to share with you just might make a massive difference for your resolutions this year. So let's get into it. One. Focus on identity change. Now this is an idea explored in James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. In my opinion, if there's any book that you should read at the start of the year, it is this book. It's fantastic. It dives deep into how to develop a habit, how to stick to one. And I think if you're someone that really wants to take charge of this year, then Atomic Habits is like a fantastic book to start everything off. But anyway, in this book, he explores pretty much how like one of the biggest reasons why people don't end up sticking to their habits or they don't end up sticking to their resolutions or whatever it is, is because they haven't fundamentally changed. Like you say, you know, I want to be fit and healthy, but you don't like tell yourself and you don't convince yourself Yourself, that your identity right now is an athlete. And it's hard to do that because we believe at our current state of being, like, you know, how we look and our fitness levels and all that, for example, this athlete example, we feel like, you know, we're not that. So how on earth can we identify as something that we are not? And the trick here is, is that we need to trick our minds into thinking that we are already are that. Because when we do that, we then adopt the behaviors and all the actions and all the thought processes that is associated with that identity. And so if you identify as someone who, who like, you know, who's, a, who's like a gym junkie or or like who's like an athlete or you know who's a specific type of you know basketball player or footy player whatever it is right if you identify with that identi identity then what that means is is that you know you'll be someone that works out three or four times a week if you're a gym junkie um you know you drink protein shakes you eat healthy right and you um you count your calories like you do you do all the things that are associated with that particular identity and then through that process of identifying with that identity do you end up losing weight do you end up achieving all those fitness goals that you set for yourself now one of the big things that i did in the past couple of years is i identified as a youtuber and so what does a youtuber do he uploads he or she well they upload videos and like that's what I did because because I changed my identity. In the beginning, when I first started making videos, I was uploading once every two weeks, once every three weeks, maybe even once a month. And so I just felt like, you know, I was still me. Like I was just still someone that was trying to make videos, but I never identified as that YouTuber guy. And once I started doing that, it made it easier to, you know, to stick to a schedule, to create content, to make videos and then put things out there, right? It's so much better when you identify with a particular identity. It just makes everything a lot easier. Another way for you to stick to your New Year's resolutions is to focus on the journey and not the destination. Now, I don't mean this in like, you know, enjoy the journey and like, don't worry about the outcome. Like, I don't mean it in that type of sense. I'm talking about like you setting yourself a good outcome, like a desired goal, whether it be, you know, a certain amount of weight or like an X amount of subscribers, whatever it is, but then focusing on the process side of things. Like it's all well and good, you know, the, the I don't know, the 72 kilos or 70 kilos, whatever it is, like however heavy you want to be at the end of the year, could be above or below what, are you, what you weigh now, or you know, the X amount of subscribers, 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, whatever it is, right? These are the destinations, right? This is where we want to end up, right? And what we want to do is we want to focus on the process and goals side of things. And that is stuff like working out four to five times a week, if you know we want to hit a certain weight. It is uploading weekly or bi-weekly or whatever it is, so we can get X amount of subscribers by whatever date. Right, it's about focusing on that process, the journey side of things rather, rather than it is the outcome. And the reason why this helps is because when we focus on the outcome, when we think about you know, the X amount of weight that we wanna hit, when we think about you know, how many subscribers we wanna hit, sometimes that can get very intimidating because a lot of us are aspirational, we're ambitious, we want to do things. And those goals may seem really far in the future. And so when we compare ourselves to how we are now, to where we want to be, we can get intimidated and be like, oh crap, there's no way I could do that. Right? There's no way I could achieve those goals. Or we could even be like, you know, that's too easy. I have all the time in the world in order to get that, right? In order to get where I want to be. If we convince ourselves that, you know what, that it's achievable or that it's unachievable. And the best way to kind of stay on track and really achieve those resolutions and those goals is to focus on the process of it. Upload weekly, right? Work out X amount of times a week. That's, that's all it is. And this made a really big change for me last year, especially when I was really focused on, you know, how many subscribers I was hitting and um, where I wanted to end up. I noticed that the how frequently I uploaded dropped. 
um, you know, the quality dropped, everything kind of changed. But when I, when I, around like July, August last year, I was like, you know what, let's just upload weekly and just continuously do that. And then all of a sudden, the amount of subscribers that I wanted to hit kind of just went out the window. Like I didn't think about it too much. It was just, can I upload one video a week? That's all it was. And it made all the difference in the world. Subscribers went up, view count went up, people started enjoying it a lot more. I started enjoying the process as well. Because I, and then I got into a habit of making a video a week. There's like, I cannot not make a video a week now. Like it's just something that I've ingrained into my systems and in my, in my weekly routine that it's just something that just gets done. So this is something that I really, really support. If you really wanna to stick to your new year's resolutions, start focusing on the process side of things rather than just keeping that destination, that outcome in mind and see how much of a difference that can make for you this year. And one other way you can stick to these resolutions is to partner up. We've all heard, grab an accountability partner and you guys can hold each other accountable and that way you can both achieve your goals. So we've all heard of that before and like that's all well and good, but there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. And the biggest thing here is, is you need to engage and be in the company of people that know how to exercise self-control. A study at the University of Georgia found that self-control is contagious. Meaning that if you want to create, implement, change, and stick to a resolution, stick to a goal, you want to hang out with people that can exercise that self-control. Like if you wanna drink and smoke less this year, then you wanna start hanging out with those people that don't do those things or that are very strict with themselves and really exercise that self-caution, that self-discipline, that really, really exercise that. If you're just gonna like get with any random accountability partner and you both struggle with self-discipline, it's like there's a very high chance that it's not gonna work out and you're not gonna be able to follow through, both of you, with your goals. And that's it, I hope this really does help with your resolutions. If you like this video and you wanna stick around, I'll make sure you subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later, bye.